Let's talk about changing uh, the tips on these soldering guns, soldering pencil. Uh, these are remarkably similar. They do have to be reassembled correctly. They come apart rather easily and there are some tricks. Uh, first, let me uh, give you a caution. Make sure that they are unplugged and they are cool before you start this process. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at this one and see how we're gonna change the tip on it. Okay, our soldering iron is cool. The first thing we have to do is remove this nut right here, and this is really the only thing that is is uh, like has a screw or anything to it. And this just comes off. Uh, I don't usually take it off, I usually just leave it on that thing. So there's a few parts here. So the first one is this outer jacket. Everything's coming apart. So this is just this outer jacket, and it holds this tip in place and you can see you can see this tip and underneath it is this ceramic heater element and that ceramic heater element is fragile so you can break it rather easily don't break it because it's kind of the end of the soldering iron if you do this is the tip this is the piece you'll replace there's usually a spacer back here and these spacers, this one has a collar up here and no collar here. And this one slides back into here just a little bit. And what it'll do is it ensures that the ceramic rod, the ceramic heater, is positioned inside the tip. Okay. So, okay, you take that off. You get your new one. You place it on here. Uh, you can wipe that off with a paper towel. That's a good idea if it's kind of grungy like this one. You put this collar, outer collar, back on it. Put the retainer ring over the outside. And screw it down. And that's it. You're ready to go. The soldering pencil is only slightly different. Again, make sure that it's not plugged in. It's, it's uh, cool to the touch. Again, this uh, retainer nut is removed and it has this outer sleeve retainer sleeve and it has a slightly different see this spacer this spacer has a collar here and a collar here and then there's a little uh what would you call it indentation a little the metal's been taken down so that it fits inside that collar. And so that's pretty much it. Again, be careful not to damage this uh, ceramic uh, heating element. And you slide it back on there. Slide on the retainer. Retainer has a collar on it down here. And put the nut back on it. and screw it in place and that's it okay well hope you found that useful and interesting in your soldering projects